Hey guys, back with another top five video for you guys on the Dugout Creative channel. What do we got today? Well, we have top five nastiest pitches ever in baseball, in my opinion, that is. So it's not finite, it's not what is, it's just my thoughts on it. So I think you guys are going to agree with some of them. Let's get a number five here. Okay, number five, Nolan Ryan's fastball. Now you might say, Chev, why is Nolan Ryan's fastball a nasty pitch? It's not breaking crazy, it's just... And of course he threw hard, but by today's standards, it's not that hard. But that's the key. It's by today's standards. This guy in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, that's bananas, by the way, was was just absolutely humming 102. Now, he was facing, early in the 60s and 70s, some string men. You know, like guys who were built a little bit... Okay, that, that's Bo Jackson. That's a little bit different. But he's facing guys who were built sort of like, um, you know, airheads a little bit. Maybe like a Twizzler. So when you're pumping 102, he's a tough dude. He had a nasty curveball, too. And you don't know if it's going to hit you in the face or hit the corner of the zone. It's intimidating. It's crazy. It almost looked to, you know, fool the hitters in a sense like time stopped for them. Like, and the ball just ended up behind them. That, in my mind, contributes to Nolan Ryan, Nolan Ryan having one of the top five nastiest pitches ever. On to number four on this list. It goes to Blake Trinan's sinker. Now, Blake Trinan is a big old country boy. He's out here humming sinkers that reach in the high 90s with an insane amount of break, arm side run type break that seems to fool the hitters in a sense. This man is throwing sinkers and cutters and sliders that look out of his hand to be the same pitch and his sinkers 97, 98, 99, breaking about eight to 12 inches run, arm side, run side. And then the same, you have that in your mind and then all of a sudden he drops either a nasty slider or a changeup or a cutter on you. That is, is, if you're a lefty hitter, you worry about the 98 mile an hour sinker running away from you. All of a sudden, you're getting a 91 mile per hour slider on your hands. That led to a lot, at least to a lot of broken bats, a lot of stupid swings, and a lot of just pure outmatched dominance on Blake Trident's end. On to number three the man, the myth, the legend, Mariano Rivera, the greatest closer we have yet to know in baseball and his cutter now a lot of guys now throw a cutter but that's because of what mariano rivera did with his he had this pitch he sort of made up on his own i guess he branded the grip for it it is a devastating cutter to the point where he had a couple other good pitches when he came up in the league but he resorted to throwing that cutter high 90 percent of the time and it was just tight with the it was just he, he hid the ball well with his arm too he, he turned his shoulders a little bit and all of a sudden this cutter is breaking very very sharply on you but in a sense it's not like it's a large amount of territory being you know covered with the cutters break but it's enough to really throw you off it is enough to grab the corner at the last second it's enough to miss your barrel and hit your handle and shatter your bat it's enough to absolutely just fool you and and the only way you know it's a cutter is after it's hit the catcher's mitt in that sense it is easily easily a top five nastiest pitch of all time on to number two on this list, R.A. Dickey's knuckleball. Now, R.A. Dickey in his Cy Young season with the New York Mets had one of the most devastating knuckleballs ever in terms of just its uniqueness. It had a lot of movement or lack thereof, I should say, but it was hard. It was a harder knuckleball up to 80-ish miles per hour at some times with the same amount of, you know, dead movement that knuckleballs have. It wasn't a high loopy one like a Wakefield with a lot of inch of break. It was... 80 78 to 82 miles per hour at times with just dead movement just no one i mean look at that swing right there that's adrian belch that's a hall of famer right there making him look silly i miss when he's on toronto but holy crap i saw him pitch with the new york mets i watched all of his starts he was an anomaly that year nobody could figure him out it was impressive to watch and the crazy part was he hardly ever walked people that is super important to recognize and he was outright nasty okay on to number one on this list it's got to go to Daisuke Matsuzaka's gyro ball. I'm just kidding, guys. That pitch was just a normal cutter or a slider. I mean, take a look at that. That was just a cutter or a slider. He lasted like two years. I'm just playing. We'll get to the real number one. Okay, on to the real number one, Clayton Kershaw's 12-6 curveball. Now, Clayton Kershaw is still one of the best pitchers in baseball, but for an entire decade, this man dominated. The 2010s were Clayton Kershaw's and his 12-6 curveball. I watched it carve up the Mets for years. I've seen this guy in action. He is one of the most dominant pitchers ever to grace baseball. That 12-6 curveball revolutionized what it meant to be a curveball first pitcher. 
somebody who who uh, prioritized his curveball despite also throwing pretty hard with a nice five pitch maybe even a six pitch repertoire at times he didn't need it he had that curveball it has some of the most insane amount of drop break whatever you want to call it from one point to the other distance covered it is insane this is truly one of the craziest pitches i've ever seen it has fooled hitters for over a decade it has been a reliable pitch and for somebody who was been so consistent it's lovely to see that it's not necessarily a conventional pitcher that is the one that's doing this it's someone with a curveball first mentality who knows he could drop this hook at you at any time he has that pitching machine type motion too so you can get a fastball at 96 97 up from that top motion or it could be a curveball at 72 and that's why you see a lot of these guys on their front leg getting fooled and that to me makes this the number one nastiest pitch of all time all right guys that's just my top five i do have a couple honorable mentions um just quick ones just two that came to mind that you might wonder hey where are they on this list one of them being all oh, three actually i suppose one could be a roll this chapman's fastball i mean he broke the record for high, hardest thrown pitch i think it was like 106 or something like that 107 that's crazy for sure but to me what left it off this list was that there's a lot of guys that could throw that hard ish now i guess i don't know to me there's these guys just beat them out phil necro's knuckleball of course for sure and um the other one being Randy Johnson's slider, cutter, whatever you want to call it. That's, of course, disgusting. Maybe even Greg Maddox's two seam, but I have a thought on Greg Maddox that maybe you guys will see in a different video. But these are my top five. It doesn't have to be yours. I hope you guys just enjoyed the top five. Just enjoyed the, the thought of these guys, man. Just remembering how nasty their pitches are or seeing it for the first time if you haven't. Most importantly, I hope you enjoyed the video, though. Overall, and if you did, like it. Comment down below. I want to hear your guys' thoughts. I love to hear it. And subscribe to Dugout Creative if you haven't or if you are new. And um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, man. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.